Hi everyone, I am back today with another word from the Lord, but before we jump into it, just a couple of things. First, I need to correct something that I have been saying incorrectly at the beginning of a lot of my videos. It is a scripture that I've been referencing and somewhere in my head it got twisted and I've been saying it wrong. So I apologize that I've been doing that and I want to fix it. I want to fix the problem right now. Uh, the scripture is 1 Corinthians 14, 29. What I had been saying was that let prophecy be judged by two or three witnesses. But what the scripture actually says, and this is the amplified um, version, it says let two or three prophets speak while the rest pay attention and weigh carefully what is said. So somehow I got the two or three prophets put in the two or three witnesses. I'm not sure how I did that in my head, but I apologize. And I think this is really significant because what I was saying is that two or three people should be judging the word that is brought. But what scripture says is that the rest pay attention and weigh carefully what is said. That means every single listener should be discerning the word for whether or not it is from the Lord. So what I'm going to say now, as always, take this word to the Holy Spirit. And like this scripture says, pay attention and weigh carefully what is said. Ask the Lord if it's from him, because we don't judge spiritual things with our flesh. We judge spiritual things by the spirit. So ask the Holy Spirit if it's from him and compare it to scripture and see if it lines up. Um, <laughs> the one other thing I'll say before I jump in, I always have these words typed and linked in the description if you would prefer a written copy that is always there for you um so i am going to pray and then we will get into the word mm. dear heavenly father i lift this word before you god mm. i know i know it is a burdensome word i know it's a powerful word i know it's it's one that your heart is grieved for lord I thank you for entrusting it with me. And I thank you for bringing these listeners here so that as I sound this alarm, you've told me to, to sound that the listener will hear it. Thank you, God. Lord, I lift this word before you and I place it on your altar. And I ask that you would take complete control. I submit my flesh before you and I ask that you would take control of my tongue, that I would only speak what you want spoken that you would take control of the atmosphere where the listener is at and that they would hear what you need them to hear, that you would put in their heart what they need put in their heart, God. I don't know them. I don't know anything about them, but you even know that every single hair on their head, that's incredible. You know exactly what they need today, God, and I pray that you would release it, that your Holy Spirit would be poured out through this video and released. Because, Lord, these listeners, they certainly don't need Michelle. They definitely don't. They need you, God. They need you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay. <laughs> so another interesting thing. I had to make that correction at the beginning. And then here with this word, there is something very personal in it. And I actually asked the Lord, um because I still feel like it's something that I'm working through. I was like, God, does this really need to be in here? Can I take this part? Like, do, does this need to be in here? And he told me that he wanted it in there because if y'all are new here and you haven't watched many of my videos, my whole heart for the kingdom of God, not just this YouTube channel, but every ministry everywhere is that the workers of the kingdom of God would be making disciples, that we would be teaching people how to be intimate with God, how to hear the voice of the Lord for themselves, how to seek the Lord with their whole heart. That is that is my heart's desire is that if you get anything from this channel, it would it would draw you closer to the Lord because at the end of the day, he wants a relationship with you. He wants to talk to you about these topics. And so he told me that this very personal thing that is in this word, he wanted me to leave in there as just, I don't know who it's for. I don't know why it's there. I don't know if someone just needs to hear, hey, I've been there too, <laughs> but I'm gonna leave it in there for you. Um, yeah, and just trust that God knows better than me. And if he says that it needs to be in there, it needs to be in there. Um, this word is, 
it, it is extremely burdensome. Um, I try to be very cognizant of when I say a word is burdensome or urgent or it's you know very weighty. I, I don't I don't want to say that about everything because if I say that about everything, then those words don't mean much. Um, but this word in particular, it's so heavy on the Lord's heart. So just know that that if I say that, I really am trying to set this. This word did seem set apart when he gave it to me as something different um, than other things he's spoken to me. Um, so I will quit rambling because I've been talking a lot and get right into it. This word I received June 25th, so just a few days ago. And it says, a new day is dawning in my kingdom. One of vitriol and strife. Hard times have surely fallen upon my people, even though most do not realize its extent yet. Certain things are at play that the majority do not realize are happening in the background. And here I had a vision and it's like I could see undercurrents, even under the earth, that there, there are things happening. There's an undercurrent to something that is happening. He said, daughter, remember the words I have spoken to you, especially the one that caused you to doubt my voice so fiercely. So here's the, the personal part that I want to delve into a little bit. Um, a couple years ago, before I started YouTube, the Lord had me releasing a few words on Facebook. And there was a particular word. It terrified me. It terrified me to release it. I even went and I got four, um, four women in the church, elder women, that I trusted greatly to pray over it and confirm it before I released it because I was so scared. Um, and after I released it... Um, I just, in my own human understanding, didn't feel like it came to pass. It felt like it was wrong. And it caused me to doubt my hearing fiercely, like he said. After I released that word, guys, that was four years ago now this happened. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe it's been that long. Well, after I released it, I kind of ran away from releasing words for two years. I did not run away from the Lord. I kept seeking him, but it it kind of messed me up. It messed me up. And I just put my trust in the Lord. I think there's going to be a day I look back and I can see that's what he was doing. Um, I don't fully understand it now. And now looking back at that word, I can say even just recently, he has given me further insight that that word was in fact from him and it wasn't incorrect. It's just, um, that word was kind of like, you know, when, when Jesus told a bunch of his disciples he said uh you have to eat my flesh and drink my blood and to them that sounded insane it sounded like it went directly against the commandments and so they ran away it's one of those that was just i don't know why he did it but i want to put that out here because you know what hearing from the lord it can be tricky sometimes and it really it takes such an immense amount of faith to say lord i know that you're going to correct me if I'm wrong, that if I'm being, if I'm seeking you and I'm cautious, I don't understand what you're doing, but you're doing it for a purpose and you are ultimately doing it for my good. Here we are four years later and I have more understanding than I did then, but I'm still confused about some of it. And so if any of you are at that point, like just know you're not alone. <laughs> the Lord is, he is, his ways are above our ways. And for us people here on earth, it can be extremely, Extremely confusing and difficult at times, but never stop seeking him. Never stop seeking him. I'm glad that even though that I ran away from releasing words for a long time, I did all this, but I, I never ran away from the Lord. And I can tell you, I am so thankful I didn't, even though I was so, I'm so thankful he kept me close and all of that. So Anyway, now that that's out of the way, what did that word actually say? The one that I released. It said some stuff. I, I don't want to go back and reread it uh, all through here because that's a whole different word. But a piece of it said that there was something coming that was going to cause persecution of the church. That there was something going to happen in the country because it was about America. And the people were going to blame the church for it. Okay, so that is what that particular word said. But then he continued, 
What is coming will cause immense persecution on the church. One minute everything will seem fine and the next the hatred that resides in many people's hearts towards my children will be revealed through reviling actions. The protests you saw after George Floyd against the police, those will look like nothing compared to what is coming to my children. For my children are many and those that hate them far outnumber the ones that hated the police. I am notifying my churches now. The ones that listen to my voice and my heart cry so that they may prepare. That's the thing, guys. He doesn't give us words like this so that we can fear. He, he tells us these things in advance so that we can prepare. And he says spiritually and physically. For the hour of their trial is soon approaching. It is coming so quickly and daughters, so many are not ready. And here, y'all, I've never heard his voice. There was like a cry in his voice. He was so saddened for those that, that aren't ready. They're at such risk of falling away. They're at such risk of going through trials and things that they didn't necessarily have to if they were closer to the Lord or if they were more prepared. And spiritually, how do we get prepared for something like this? Intimacy with God. That's the answer. And so those that aren't prepared, I'm sure, are ones that are lacking that intimacy with the Lord. He said, prepare those that you can. Tell them to seek me on this topic and I will give them clear instructions so they will not grow faint and weary when the immense hardships come. Sound the alarm, my watchmen, ring it loud and pray that those that would hear will hear. And that is the end of the word. And so I'm coming to you now as a watchman for the Lord and I'm ringing the alarm. We have to be seeking the Lord on how to prepare for this. He said spiritually and physically. So that means there are there are at least some people he is going to give instructions physically for how to prepare, but we all definitely need to be spiritually prepared. And like I said before, the way we get spiritually prepared is through intimacy with Christ. Even to get physically prepared, the best way to do that is to first be intimate with Christ so you know how to prepare physically. He knows exactly what is coming to you, what is coming to me. He knows it perfectly. So if we go to him and do what he says with obedience, he will protect us and keep us safe. So what I would like to do now is just like I said, pray, pray about this. Pray that he would reveal what needs to be prepared. Pray that those that would hear will hear all that, all that good stuff. So please join me in prayer over this. Oh, dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for warning us that this stuff is coming. I thank you for warning us that persecution is coming, Lord. Right now, I lift your children before you, God, and I pray that you would prepare their hearts for the things to come, that you would increase their faith, that you would increase their discernment, that you would beckon them to draw closer to you and you would take them from glory to glory, God, that you would strengthen their right arm against their enemies and that you would reveal to them whatever steps it's, that they need to take, whatever steps that you expect them to take. I pray that you would reveal it in a clear, concise manner so they know exactly what it is you want them to do. Lord, I pray you would take this message, whether it's through me or someone else, it doesn't matter. I pray you would take this message to every single ear that would hear. Lord, I pray you would take this even to people that might not hear, God, that you would give them an opportunity to hear the warning so that they may prepare, that they could bow their free will to your will and they could prepare, Lord. Mm, in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, so I think that's it for this one. I'll see you guys next time.